I'm part of E and E, so we do all effects and enablers is what E and E stands for. Um, we do all the makeup and the bandages on the mannequins. We actually have the mats, which is a multiple amputation trauma simulator, um, and then we basically just come out here and OC for them a little bit. We train them on stuff that they can do intervention wise and everything. So what we got set up out here is a lot of different mannequins. Um, we have 10 total out here. So what has happened is uh, a notional mission has occurred and they've taken casualties. So we called up a nine line to the next closest cache to come get them. Uh, the cache has received that nine line now and they're sending out a unit to come pick up these casualties. So when the unit gets up here, their medics should talk to the ground medics and just get a kind of a notional idea of what happened, um, basic injuries, and who is the most severe casualty. As soon as they find that out, they can apply some more interventions. If the ground medics have already run out of materials, they can apply more interventions and everything. Um, then they will triage and load up, depending on most critical to least critical, to get them to the proper care that they need and we kind of just make sure it's realistic as possible for them. So the effects and enablers is actually starting to get a lot more attention now um, by MRTC. Uh, they're starting to put more funds to it because this, what we do, is actually very key. Um, what we're trying to do is remove the idea of notional training. We don't want people saying, oh, this is an injury, there's nothing there, let's pretend what we're gonna do. Let's actually put something out there make it bloody, make it hard for them to put a tourniquet, hard to dress it. 